Union Local Hall, we meet. The movement meets at 6 p.m. 350 Rhode Island, Suite 101, enter on Kansas Street. And so now you will hear from my mentor, our fearless leader, Minister Christopher Mohammed. Everything you heard today from the public defender, Jeff Adachi, the Board of Supervisors, the District Attorney, the ACLU, the coalitions of Justice for Mario Woods, Alex Nieto, and Amilcar Perez Lopez, all of it speaks to a wounded community, a wounded people who have reached the point now where we no longer can accept silence because silence now is consent. To look the other way, to do nothing in the face of brutality, to do nothing in the face of blatant disregard for human life, says that San Francisco in 2016 is no better than Birmingham, Alabama in 1960. How many cases of black men and women facing brutal murder and oppression under Bull Connor and racist law enforcement agencies, yet we would know who killed these young men and women, but nobody had the courage to prosecute because the sheriff and the police chief was the police chief by day and the grand wizard by night. So judges and prosecutors and district attorneys and people who had power in their hands to give justice to the Scottsboro boys, Amen. justice to the murderers of the three civil rights workers. Amen. Those who had the power could have done it, but they were afraid of the politics. Amen. They were afraid to upset law enforcement. They were afraid to upset the status quo of Birmingham, Montgomery, Selma, and all of these towns in the South. But now fast forward to 2016 in liberal, democratic San Francisco, you got those same people in power afraid to prosecute, afraid to charge, and even afraid to fire a chief who heads up a rogue police department that shoots first and asks questions later. The Board of Supervisors is now standing firm to say, enough is enough. Yeah, the DA is saying, I need help from the Department of Justice. The public defender is saying, I need help from the Attorney General. Then that means that there are forces within this state, within this country, with a black president, a black Attorney General of the Department of Justice, a black Attorney General for the state of California, a Chinese mayor, Board of Supervisors that represent all of the colors of the rainbow, and you've got Democratic uh, mayors and Democratic uh, governors and Democratic lieutenant governors and Democratic federal and state senators, Democratic assembly and congresspersons. Why are we crying out for justice in 2016 with all those Democrats? Somebody is playing politics with the lives of black and brown who are considered an undesirable population, who they don't fear upsetting poor people. They fear upsetting developers. They fear upsetting police unions. They fear upsetting powerful rich people, but they do not fear consequences coming from poor and oppressed people. But today, you're going to have to fear because the poor are coming together in unity and we're not going nowhere. Kamala Harris to step up. We tried to avoid that call because we know 
She's running for senator. But enough is enough. This is no time to be silent. Silence is consent. So our public defender made the right call in a beautiful letter outlining that when a community has reached the point where we now have to be afraid of our own police department, where we don't know if the traffic stop is for a traffic stop or if the traffic stop will cost us our lives. And we're calling on our attorney general and our Department of Justice step in every criterion to step in to a department San Francisco meets that requirement up to the brim. You've got racist text messages that reflect the mindset that have now caused the DA to have to throw cases out where people were falsely convicted from racist rogue police and their arrest. That produces a crisis of confidence. You've got a crime lab that's been tainted with cover-up. You've got police officers in Bayview where they use that station as a training station, which means training day. The movie becomes the order of the day in Bayview Hunters Point and in the mission. There were officers who arrested a young black man in the Tenderloin just three weeks ago. And it's on YouTube where they're stomping and kicking this young man and calling him nigger. This is a mindset that has to be busted up. The DA set forth a blue ribbon panel, but it has no subpoena power. It depends on cooperation, and the police department is not cooperating. Yet you have a mayor like Nero in Rome fiddling while Rome is burning. Mayor Lee is fiddling around while San Francisco is going to hell. So we are saying, answer the call of the public defender. We're calling on the Attorney General. Respect the letter that he sent to you and step in and use the weight of your office to help clean this mess up. Because San Francisco PD has a chief that lies. He has a way of lying where you now immediately come out and tell the same story no matter what the circumstance. Kenny Harding Jr. shot himself, according to the chief. But the tapes that would show who killed Kenny Harding Jr. have been conveniently lost. Alex Nieto, Emil Perez Lopez, Mario Wood, Mario lunged at the officer. It was a lie then, it's a lie now. Luckily, we have videotapes. Amen. And now Luis Gangara is the latest victim. After a 30-second encounter, Luis is dead. Only because this department does not fear any consequences for its action. But I'm happy to say today is a historic landmark day. Because now the blood of Luis the blood of Mario, the blood of Alex, the blood of Emil Carr, the blood of Kenny Harding, the blood of all of those is being brought to bear at this moment, at this time, with this city, so that the city now can make the right decision, and if not, then the Attorney General has to step in and right the wrong. This is our time. Enough is enough.